You know, I'd been researching the RAV4 EV online and was pretty impressed. It looked like it would fit my needs to a T. So I stopped by one of the authorized Toyota RAV4 EV dealerships for a test drive. I love the car, but before I bought one, I knew I'd need to get a 240 volt charging station installed at home. My sales consultant told me that Toyota's partnered with Leviton to supply the home charging stations. Leviton's an industry leader in safety and electrical wiring devices with over a century of experience. You can also call this number, the 1855 number, if you'd like to have a technician come out. You can do it that way as well. Great. All right. Okay, I'm excited. Ready to go. Right. Nice okay, thanks so much. Pleasure. Thank okay. you. Leviton made the rest of the process easy. When I got home, I went to leviton.com slash Toyota. That started me on a simple four-step process. The first step was an online survey, including some basic questions about my home. Step two was to request a survey of my house. When the technician arrived, he inspected the electrical box, existing wiring, and the proposed charger location. About two business days later, Leviton called back with a quote that included everything. The local permits, wiring, level two charging station, hardware, and labor. Once I approved the quote and Leviton got the permits, I was able to set up an appointment for the installation. Leviton took care of everything. A Leviton rep even followed up to make sure I was completely satisfied and to remind me that support was available whenever I needed. He also suggested that I call my electric utility and let them know I'd be charging an electric car, just in case they need to make any adjustments and to see if there were alternate rate options. Once the charging station was ready at home, I went in to pick up my RAV4 EV. Robert demonstrated all the features and walked me through the charging process. Before you turn the vehicle off, let's look at the charging time. Okay. Go to this screen. And since you usually leave for work at 6.15, you would probably set the end time to 6 a.m. Okay, sounds good. Then press add and your time is set. By setting the end time, you can delay charging so it happens in the most efficient way, during off-peak hours, and so it finishes just before you leave in the morning. No, oh, I like that. By the way, you can also manage charging remotely using the available Intune apps on your smartphone. Oh, that's cool. There's also an app to find public charging stations nearby. I like it. But for today, let's charge immediately. Okay. Now first, turn the vehicle power off. Then press charge immediately. Now reach down and pull the little lever next to your left heel to open the charging port door. Just lift it up like you'd open a fuel filler door. And it looks just like it too. Unlatch the charging port cap. Okay. Then insert the charging connector until you hear a click. After a second or two, you should see one or both of these charging indicator lights come on. That means it's charging, or if we delayed the start time, that it's ready to charge. Well, why the two lights? It's a quick way to check the charging progress. When the first light is flashing, the battery is less than half charged. Oh, when it stays on and the second light flashes, it's more than half charged. And when both lights stay on, the battery is fully charged. Both lights will go out after about 10 minutes. Okay, great, thanks. I'm excited for you. Thank you for your business. Really appreciate it. It took a little preparation up front, but that's all there was to it. Thanks to my RAV4 EV, I'm now driving an all-electric SUV with cutting-edge technology. And I'm thrilled with my new Toyota.